I'm Goldie Chan with Warm Robots here with the Shorty Awards. And I am joined by Rena, who is a group creative director at Critical Mass. And she worked on an award-winning campaign. Now, what awards did it win? Of course, it was winner in images and gold distinction in Pinterest. Rena, I'd love you to take us through this campaign. Thank you so much. So happy to be part of this. So very excited to share about the Lactate campaign. Um, one of the biggest challenges we have for Lactate as a brand is that people don't believe it's real milk. And so we were set out to prove that it is. It's 100% real milk with the greatest taste in the world. Um, and we wanted to do that with a classic holiday duo with cookies and milk. The one, the one thing that uh, can recognize the real milk from the imposters. And we did it through a very whimsical, um, fun approach where we created a bunch of cute cookies for different holiday seasons. So it was for Halloween, Thanksgiving, and the holidays. And we wanted to create um, a world where the cookies would live um, through these elaborate scenes, but then the cookies just couldn't stay away from the milk and they had to get to it. So we created the campaign on Pinterest and we had these two like vertical pins, but it was kind of divided in half. So the top pin was the elaborate cookie world where the cookie was. And the bottom pin looked like just a simple lactate ad. It was a kitchen scene with a glass of milk and a carton, just something kind of basic. And the surprise factor came when the cookie kind of launched itself from the top pin to the bottom pin so that it could dunk itself into the milk. And it was really fun kind of concepting how that would come to life and, and doing it in a really whimsical way. So our, our gingerbread man from the holiday scene comes down in a parachute. The turkeys in our Thanksgiving scene are launched from a teeter-totter. And then our ghost appears from thin air and kind of flies down and dunks himself into the milk. And I think we have a video of this. So let's go ahead and watch the video together. We set the story on Pinterest and hacked the platform with vertical videos that looked like two separate pins. Cue the climax. Viewers were surprised to see a cookie from the top scene abandon its pin to get to the milk below. And we did it more than once because Halloween deserves some magic too. And who could forget Thanksgiving? Once our heroes hit Pinterest, the results were delicious. More than 8 million people viewed our videos, and our Pinterest page saw a massive increase in traffic throughout the campaign. Plus, our video's cost per view blew the industry out of the water, or should we say, milk. So I love seeing all of these pieces on Pinterest in action. In fact, I think we were talking about this before our call, which is that each piece was handmade and edible. Yum. Yeah. Yeah, and that was that was one of the key things, you know, again, we wanted to prove that we're 100% real as a brand and everything in this campaign in this world is 100% real and edible. We had six artists that worked across 8 days to make these. So everything from the tree that you saw in the Halloween scene is made out of brownies, the dirt in the farm is crumbled up Tate's cookies and our production department tested a lot of different cookies. They wanted those for the exact color and texture that they represented. So there was a lot of detail that went into these. And, and then, you know, just really sweet things like cinnamon sticks for the logs next to the gingerbread house. It's just every time you watch these videos, you'll see another little detail that you didn't notice before. Well, this interview is making me super hungry, but before we get into that, I want to ask, what are the most surprising reactions you had to this campaign? So a lot of people thought we did it with CGI or, you know, a lot of um, it. They just didn't believe that everything was handmade. We kind of had to show them the behind the scenes. <laughs> it was just it was just crafted so beautifully that it, it was just kind of unbelievable how everything was done so quickly and everything by hand. And we did use a lot of stop motion to create the, the motion pieces where the cookies were flying down. And it was just thousands and thousands of images over green screen that were all kind of composited together. And how does it feel to be crowned the best in images this year for Shorty Awards? Oh my God, it's it's such an honor. I mean, Shorty Awards, 
honor the best brands, the best agencies in the world, even Hollywood celebrities. So being recognized among those brands and agencies is a true honor. Wonderful. And is there anything you would like to say to the amazing people who voted for your campaign and the fans of the campaign itself? <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for noticing all the details and the hard work that went into it. And why are the Shorty Awards important to your agency at the end of the day? So Critical Mass being a digital agency, we really value the esteem that the Shorty Awards brings. It's it's truly an honor to be recognized amongst all of these other agencies and brands. Um, it it also, of course, boosts the morale. It it's you know something that at the end of the day, after you've spent nights and weekends working on projects, obsessing about all of the little details, it it really makes it all worth it in the end. Amazing. Well, thank you again, Rena, for joining us and for talking about your well-deserved win at the Shorty Awards. And we, of course, hope to see you again next year. Thank you. Thank you so much.